Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude, live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW Dude Podcast. YKW is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all, I YKW. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up, you're no. ruining this. Where's the ball, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. Hi, everybody. It's Robert Kelly. Welcome to the show. Who do we have on the show this week? We have a great comedian, Shane Torres. Yeah, we can. Mudgeless. Right there Mudgeless. you go. You look fantastic. Thank you very much. Good to see you, buddy. You we too. saw each other on the bonfire. Yeah, but we never see each other. So it's kind of like, I feel like that's happening more and more where I see people I know for like not months or even like a year. And then I see them like back to back like crazy. Is his mic on? I can't hear him. Yeah, yeah I think so. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Talking to the mic. No, no. Yeah, that's no. the way these things work. <laughs> okay. I have to capture your voice. <laughs> I have to capture it or it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, well. Hey, that was a good You could be an innovator, though, and try something. Just get my voice? Yeah, yeah. And, and you're not like, get the ah, other you know what I'm saying. And no, I never. And then it's just, just you responding. But I know I put subtitles. They have to read my podcast, but only <laughs> your subtitles. I mean, I think that's the way <laughs> comedy is going. Anyway. It's, it's funny, isn't it, right? It's, yeah. it's weird how it's evolving so fast because yeah. of social media. We have a 10 minute time, but we're down to eight minutes. You will find out at the end of eight minutes, you will find out why. Okay. It is. Um, I brought this up to other people. Do you worry about the a sense of history in comedy with how fast it's moving now? I think comedy has become the new money-making thing in this business. Okay. I think comedy was never really a money-maker. Only a few people could do it once in a while. I thought it was a, it was a good job, but it was kind of looked down upon. It was a lower rung in show. Acting. Was up there. Rock and roll musician was the mother. Dead. You got a lot of people playing the garden. A yeah. lot of people playing Carnegie Hall. Comics are playing where bands and musicians used to play. Yeah. People are people are into comedy. They're making. They figured out. There's like the, a dozen arena acts right now. They figured out how to make money off of us. So you know what? That's it. Yeah. How do they do that? They, you know, I know you, you know me, here's my guy, take that guy, I'll take your person, you do this, bing, bang, you make them, it's it's like, you know, the, the record business back in the day. Yeah. But the good thing about it is that you can become famous on your own, on the outside, too, with, with the social media and all this you stuff. You can determine your value without other people's help to some degree. You can, I think so, but... You know, I mean, look how many people just release their special on YouTube, and it that's kills the, it. That's um, that's a big issue I have. Like, there's not. Um, I don't think gatekeepers were always the best thing, but there was a filter at least. And there was it, a filter, and I don't. And they weren't always right. Yeah, no, but they, they weren't, weren't always wrong. And they put over a lot of bad people too. They like, put a, they put over bad people, but they put over really good people. Yeah, or the, and they gave people opportunity. Some people opportunities. I think some we, people don't pop, and that's. Well, it was good because it had a barometer. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's so much... Comedy used to filter itself out. It doesn't do that anymore. No, it doesn't. You, you, no. You, you, but you, they kind of find their own audience, too. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> I guess. Well, like, I mean, you know, like, you and I are not going to be the same audience as, like, Taylor Tomlinson's crowd. You know, yeah. like, but which is, like, that's what I mean. Yeah. Maybe certain people were underserved in the sense of comedy, like certain demographics, you know? But... Yeah, I yeah, mean... Yeah, because, I mean, like, what are they... They were going to get, like... Judy Tenuta, like they were going to be real, Taylor's fans were really going to be into her. Judy Tenuta with the fucking, the, yeah, what was yeah. it? The accordion? The accordion. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was funny. She was great. All right. She died a couple years ago. I wonder if she, if he would hold up, if she would hold, her shit hold up. I think it would hold up to me. Yeah? Yeah. I, I don't know. Why not me? Why am I, I mean, like, I mean, like, like, I, I, mean, we I, together. Mean, I mean, to the, to, the, to, the, to the fandom, like the Pierce, you're like, it's not all great, but you're going to like, I do like, I do like that song or that, bit, you know, like that yeah. kind of vibe to it. Well, I think that in the 80s it went through it too, but now with social media, it's just, there's no, I think if, I think you could find a way to become successful if you really, back when I was coming up, you were funny and there wasn't that many comics. There wasn't that many women comics. There was not that many, you know, 
Indian and Asian and Spanish. Yeah. And there was a couple Spanish, right? Yeah, there yeah. was mostly Jewish dudes and black dudes and white dudes. And there was really no chicks. Few chicks, half dozen, half dozen, maybe, like maybe, wor like working. You, when you say comics, do you be mean like be because it like was they could be getting spots in the city somewhere? Yeah, you you would be working at one of the clubs, but there wasn't that many clubs. Yeah, there wasn't that many clubs. It was, you know, in the around the country, in the major cities, the clubs were always kind of there. But around the, but those were like workout rooms too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to be a working club comic, or you know. To be out there, yeah. there wasn't that many people to do it. There wasn't that many clubs, so there wasn't a need for it. You know, you work in, uh, you know, the improvs or side splitters or these clubs that are around or the funny bones and the chuckle huts and bananas. Yes, and Looney Who the f wants to do that? I being, mean, being a road comic, a club comic back in the day was like being a shoe salesman. Yeah, it's not the. It's gotten much better, is what you're saying now. Well, there's money to be made now. Yeah. Now these guys are doing theaters. These do, you know, you make money at a club. You can yeah. make up more money at a club than you can do in a theater. Yeah, you know, what I mean, it's true. You make more money because you don't have to pay all those fees. You have to do more work, but you know, it's a, it's a it's a weird industry right now. But it's it's very it reminds. I feel like we replaced music. I I don't know about that. <laughs> Think about it, Nashville. It's filled with comics, but uh, L.A., um, Austin, yeah. Austin used to be all dead. All, it was all music. It was all music, but there was always comedy there. Now, not 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 like it is now. Of course not. No, but that's like freaking. This eight club is not free. It's what it, it we, we. It's cheaper to bring us in and do a comedy club. It's one guy, two guys, three guys. You know, there's a microphone. Oh, the production device. of the show is. Yeah, to bring yeah. a band in is a dead. pain in the ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like an easier. So thing. venues are just pr having comedy now. I mean, I did two rock clubs this weekend. Dude, yeah. you can sell out. Yeah. But look at the look at look at the mothership. It's just sold out. Yeah, but I mean that's like. I mean, that's the other its club, own special circumstance. Yeah, all the other clubs are selling out too. They're selling. You know, people are coming in and going there and selling tickets. Yeah, yeah, like some people. I, I think, think I yeah. mean in Nashville, in Austin, L.A. Yeah. You know who the yeah. f is going to the whiskey a go go. I mean, they're going to. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see the point you're making. What's sold bit. out? Yeah. The comedy store, the improv. They're all sold out. The, right here, this used to be all music. There was yeah. one club, comedy cellar. Yeah. Now there's five, four, yeah. and they're opening another sold one. Sold out. There's gonna be five, and they're sold out. And then they're go to the Wa next door. They used to be sold out every show. That the, the Village Underground was a music venue. Next door, it was all music. Yeah, and there's two other clubs in this neighborhood that yeah. are like living off of the run off of this place. Buddy, yeah. come on, we took over for music. Yeah. I mean, I think in, in a You're certain right. way. Yeah. I'm Jimi Hendrix. I'm the Jimi Hendrix. And, and I'm, Pat, I'm Pat Benatar. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm Pat Benatar. Love Hit a, me with your best shot. I would say love is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. That's a good one. Love yeah. is a battlefield. Yeah. No, what's the other one that's really good? Uh, Pat Benatar was a bad bitch. With love is a battlefield. So we are young. We yeah. are young. Yeah, with the yeah. dance. Because the opening just goes. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. It was true. And we, what a fucking fox. Uh-oh. We got... A minute thirty. Okay. To, what's gonna happen? You know, like, are you scared? Are you scared or excited? No, I'm the alpha in here. I'm 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 fine. In this room? You think? What, be, what, Maybe not since you got here, but before. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I think my, my I'm listen, just younger. My I sister think. with a kidney infection is the <laughs> alpha in the room when I'm when I'm not here. Are you crazy? <laughs> you fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I mean, you could be the alpha. I don't care. No, I don't either. I just don't know if I am either. <laughs> I, uh, um, are you nervous? No, I'm just or, curious. We're at a minute. We're at a minute. I don't I don't like that he's walking behind me now. Why? He's walking behind me. we're hey, at a minute. The guy weighs 110 pounds. He's holding a cannon. What's he going to do? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> what what are you going to do? Yeah, what is he going to do? Fix your virus on your Mac? Why don't you fuck over into my line of sight? <laughs> um, no, he's just taking video. That's I'm all he sure, does. Yeah. Um, he has autism. Uh <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. You have to. You have no fear in this room, but it's it's thirty seconds, and it's happening. Okay, it's going down. Are you, are you excited now? A little bit? No, because I don't. Are you I, still afraid? I, there's not another mic set up, so I don't think somebody else is coming in. Twenty nine seconds. Yeah, it's about to I, happen, I Shane, brother. It's about to go down. Are you twenty seconds? Are you just about to ask me a bunch of questions or something? Nineteen. I mean, dude, we're right there. I, I, We're right there, dude. It's almost 10 seconds. Oh it's almost God. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, eight come on. 7, seven 6, eight, 5, five four, 4, 3, 
two, two one. one. Yeah, suck my fucking dick. Suck it. We can swear. We can swear. After 10 minutes, they stop watching on YouTube. Fucking oh, suck Oh, jeez. Well, I say fuck in there. Yeah, let's go right here. But you can't say all the other bad words. You can't talk about this. Fist Fest is coming up. Have you known about Fist Fest? You really take a jump from here. This is it's like moving into Safe Harbor. Like, <laughs> Really? Fist Fest is happening. What's the so date, you don't Danny? swear for ten minutes, dude. We have ass pig, <laughs> we have honky toys, super sniffer, stud fist. I mean, look at all these sponsors. Friendly toys. This is great. It's coming up. What's the date, Danny? At Fist Fest. Uh, go back. Let's see that photo of that guy on his belly. <laughs> look at this. Um, this year, this Fist is Fest is going to be April twenty fifth through twenty seventh at. Ooh. Uh, Metropolitan Entertainment Complex in Augusta, Georgia. Nice. In Georgia, down the south. I mean, what happened to God? <laughs> what happened to the south? Dude? Okay, they, the home they, of the world's they, most prestigious they, golf course yeah, and, and they, fist fest. They didn't let black people drink the, the same fountain. The in Augusta. So. But now they're letting yeah. fist fucking happen. What a... What is fist fest? God, I, no, no. I think I have a pretty good idea. Tell me what you think it is. You, I don't think you do. I think... I hope it's on the same weekend as the Masters because the... <laughs> oh, uh, oh, it is. The contrast... Between, you see, Tiger ma'am, with- I beg your pardon. May I have another mint julep to <laughs> fuck my piping hole r- harder? Uh, is, uh, I, uh, be- I beg to differ, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. Please this whip great. my testicles as if you see. Uh, his na- hi, my name is Pub Pup Kibbles. <laughs> <laughs> what do we expect at Fist Fest? Read it out loud, Danny. This is um, from Pup Kibbles, um, and it's his. Uh, it's for a first timer's guide to Fist Fest. Yes, I'm 29 years old. I'm a verse bottom pup that's into fisting, bondage, spanking, and toys. <laughs> Most of the time, I enjoy laying around with my tail and, and my hood on. I'm currently located in North Central Connecticut. You can find me on Recon Ass Pig Telegram and Twitter. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. I know Twitter, but I've never heard of Telegram. <laughs> You know Aspic? <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, I know Aspic. <laughs> you know, Telegram is like a... What is Aspic? Well, this was uh, Pup's first time at Fist Fest last year, and he wanted to, he wants you, Bobby, to know about it. I want to know about it. Tell me. Uh, when I first attended, when I first arrived at Fist Fest, I didn't know a single person. I knew people from their online profiles and spent my first few hours trying to figure out uh, what... Uh, trying to figure out what screen name went with each person's actual name. Despite my fears, I was surprised how friendly and welcoming, friendly, welcoming, and caring every single person at the event was. My biggest takeaway is the key to first fist fest is to step out of your comfort zone and introduce yourself to others. I think car. you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did that when you said you were going. Like I think when you gave your name, uh, what's his name? Uh, ass pup. pup kibbles. Pup, pup kibbles. kibbles. Yeah. yeah, I think when you put your thing on ass, ass, ass what is it called? Ass pup? Ass pig. Ass, ass pig. Ass. You came out of the shell. Um, I made friends that will last a lifetime, and I look yeah, forward to they, seeing them in future. Yeah, you had their knuckles in your asshole. <laughs> yeah. Some good that, wedding ring is inside you. That is, a, that is a bonding experience. Hey, dude, you, uh, you shake hands? I remember that. <laughs> I remember those. So fat. weird to feel it on the outside. Oh of me. my god! So look at weird. that. Oh god! So I weird to that. not have this in me. I think we should shake like that. Like, One person should stick their fist in the other person's <laughs> asshole. Go ahead. What did he Sold say? Told me a good four um, and I punched him. Wait, wait, wait! Tells you what to pack in case we're going. Shane, I think we should go. I think. Why, should, I, think I think we would probably do well. <laughs> dude, we'd do fantastic. Look at these little fucking suckers. My bracelets could be like butt beads. They're like little doorstops. <laughs> yeah, little. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. I put a, you can put them at certain. You know, areas. like when people hang a tennis ball in their garage when they're parking their car in the winter. <laughs> That's, uh, ow, 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 uh, ow! Stop at the beads. All right, let's go. Read it. What to pack? Okay, what to pack? Uh, let's. Look, what do you think? Let's ask you. What do you? Oh, think? give me a couple items. <laughs> <laughs> Several beach towels for cleanup. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I would say baby wipes. Baby, Maybe some baby, baby wipes. Baby wipes and a couple beach towels. Maybe even a, a kiddie pool for the cleanup. Yeah, like you just do it in there. Just jump in, scoosh yeah. your back. Okay, I got yeah. it. I like that. No, like, like blow up. You do pool. it in there, whatever that's happening. Oh, uh, so, so that you're like the, you don't have to get charged. Yeah, yeah two fifty on the yeah, room fee. Yeah, this is like the they're like this is the liquid hell or whatever. Yeah, you, you have know, to like, sign. You have to sign a thing at the front desk. No smoking and no shit on the carpet. <laughs> I just, do you think they're just like, oh, God. 
here's the thing, because there's some employees there that are just going to be over. It's like, this is the worst weekend of my life. I can't believe they took this convention. Do you know how excited some employees that have done it before are like, oh, Gary, this is his first weekend. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's going to be a like an 18-year-old kid who just dropped out of high school right before he was going to graduate and just works at the hotel now. Yeah, He's yeah. like... <laughs> Well, this is still better than English class. Like, kind you, of. Inter- you just yeah. hear the fire alarms being torn. <laughs> What's wrong? There's a, there's, a, there's a guy in room two eleven. What he was he doing? He was. I think he was holding a man like a popsicle. <laughs> well, he was he was trying trying to get more leverage, so he pulled down, and now we all have to walk out in our row. <laughs> I think band aids. Band aids. <laughs> Maybe definitely a like um. Oh yeah, like a first aid kit. You need some. You need lube. I think you need some lube. Yeah, some that's. Lube. I mean, that's like. Give I guess I'm thinking about what are they going to bring that's not obvious. Like, because if you're going to Fist Fest, there's going to be a lot of right section. So, like, what if there's a diet or something? Like, well, like if you know you've eat a bunch of uh, if you eat a bunch of root vegetables, it makes it a lot easier for it to go in. It goes you know, like, of, yeah, there's got to be a certain buffet that they have. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd like wondering like fisters and fisties, <laughs> right? I mean, like, one one has spicy food and the other one. Oh has just, God, they just, just serve, they one, just serve Indian all weekend. Yeah, no, oh, oh. <laughs> like, like we call this the Ringstein. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of guys with red hands from burning, <laughs> just flaming hot Cheeto dust butts. I think uh, they probably have to bring pillows. A comfortable. I bet there's an ass fucking pillow that somebody made. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a snoring pillow. Why wouldn't you make an? There's got to be a like a like a, a pil- ben- medical bend over pillow. Like, yeah, like a. I bet there's some medical, like, okay. pillows and stuff that people yeah. buy. Like a a, be- a, be- a belly pillow. Yeah, you like, know, they're like a pillow for the pregnant woman. Yeah, that's ex- but yeah. like it's got like it's like a triangle and it's got a flat base and then they yes. just lean over and ramp this fucking guy. Yes, <laughs> you, <laughs> it just presents your butt in the perfect way. God. Just. An upside down stirrups. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I mean, all right. Well, let's see if we hit, we're right. Ready? Here we go. What do we what got? The events well, are it like. Says you need a power. Uh, you need a power strip because many of the outlets in parts of the resort are not near the bed. Oh, this guy's being reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's planning a regular trip. <laughs> Slash ass fucking trip. <laughs> so we're gonna get. I had to stop by the pharmacy and pick up my child's medicine. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're, we're gonna get a couple re- iPhone or I, I, plug or i Android plug. Make sure you bring your plug. Yeah, yeah. You want toothpaste? Some I bet your toothpaste is gonna be here. All right. What else do we got? Um, lube. Second one. But 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 he gives you a tip. He says if you're flying, check all your baggage so you don't have to deal with TSA. Also remember that's a good fisting etiquette etiquette for bottoms to bring their preferred lube. So it's on the bot. If you're the bottom, you have to bring the lube. We ain't bringing lubes. No no no. Nah, no. with tops. We're rough riders. With fisters. <laughs> uh, oh okay yeah yeah we are. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want? I'll bring the <laughs> no, lube. For, you yeah. Bring I, mean, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm I sorry. Did you? Want I thought you were fisting? saying it as a point of masculinity of like no we don't need it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We, don't, we do need it. You just Nobody, push through me like press board. <laughs> I just use your only your own ass juice. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> I just make you, you know when someone's moving and they'll sit on a box and then there's just some given and it's not like filled with boxes they just fall in. I make you pre come until it drips into your butt and oh, then I use that. Oh. Hey, that was too far. That no, was too it's much. poetic. It was real. I, that was all right. I can see why you've had a long long history and call me so descriptive. <laughs> I'm very descriptive. You are. That's my with, thing. You're good That's with language. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. Just what running down my rib, uh, little taint. You need a few puppy pads uh, Whoa. to get started. Hit the store on the way to Fist Fest. This will allow for more room in your luggage. So they say, oh. don't bring it. They're saying, get it once you get to Georgia. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, a puppy pad is a wee wee pad, correct? Yes. So your tub. <laughs> so instead of a tub, <laughs> instead of your tub, they're gonna put down <laughs> puppy pads. On the bed, because there's going... Here's a problem with Fist Fest. That's why I said uh, kitty pool. Kitty pool, which I think is grosser, because you, no water or water. Yeah, whatever. It's a splash round. If there's water, you're going to make tea, and I don't want to make tea. You, you, oh, it is... It becomes a lot stewier. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want to sit it's like a, a dinty more beef stew. You know, it's like it's like. <laughs> oh, it's like you see a little like, piece like of lettuce you floating like, around. You know, like you know, like you know, gumbo is delicious, but you never want to see how it's made. Yeah, dude, I don't want to be in a on all fours in a kiddie pool and just seeing my wife's chicken soup rolling around oh. my knees. Oh, just like. So Throw in a little bit of sassafras, a couple of ham hocks. <laughs> get in there. Let it, let it sit in that Georgia hotel room, turn off the AC. It'll be ready by midnight. Oh, that, that, that's the gumbo I had on Monday. Look at that. 
Mm. So let me ask you a question. Here we go. We got, I think that the, the, the puppy pads are a good idea because you can just roll those up. So this is what bothers me about this. When I thought about Fist Fest, I thought it would be professionally done where there'd be no shit. You know what I mean? I think that's unavoidable. I don't think so. I think you can avoid shit. I think that I talked to a gay roommate once and I was like, aren't you worried about shit on your dick? He's like, Ugh. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, you don't, you clean yourself out. Yeah. You know, they give it a flushing, a flushing. Yeah. Like they go, like, they call Roto Rooter and they like, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Have you I mean, ever had anal sex on a girl or on me? Whatever, man. It's, no, it's, it's not whatever. It's a, it's a huge it's difference. It's 2024, Bobby. I'm not I kidding. have a 10 year old son. It's a huge difference <laughs> five years from now when he listens to this. <laughs> That's a very good point. It's yeah. a big difference, my friend Shane. So who was the first guy who fucked you? <laughs> it was named Michael. No. <laughs> um, no, I, I've never had anal sex. I've I, Look, I've had girls play with it. That's kind of my thing. Mm. I mean, I'm kind of known for butt play. Yeah. But I, I can't have anything really in it. Because, but, and you have you two I, women? I've had two women, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't mind it. I don't really like it. It's not like a... I it think, doesn't load you up the way it does some guys? It's just because it's... No, uh, I think a vagina, there's something about... I don't know. It doesn't. A vagina's lubed. Yeah, no. an asshole is too. It's too dead. You know what I mean? It's like it's too dead. I like real hair. It just looks like what? It looks like like Death Valley to you, like the, know, earth, the, like the but, Southwest in August. You, you just ever see a wig? It's just the wind hits it. It's not the same as regular hair. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. No, I get it. Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, I mean it's fine. I don't. I don't. Uh, if I don't, it's offered, will you just be like, "Yes, we're doing that"? hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I'll come right there. Fuck yeah. my ass. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. Yeah, I think it's one of the sexiest things ever said during sex. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a sexier taboo thing that a girl oh, could sure. say, and she's she's like, and she they always get mad. I don't know why girls always get mad. They gotta build themselves. A girl, a girl's never went. Can you please fuck my ass? It's always like, you fucking dirty fucking <laughs> fat pig. <laughs> What you f fuck my all right relax. <laughs> you think okay. they, need to, they need to insult you before? They, I think they need to build it up to a, <laughs> so they gotta like they gotta go in like they're playing like a game of pickup basketball like they're like I'm gonna kick this person. Yeah, they gotta turn into the Hulk. Yeah, they gotta, I've, I I prob <laughs> honestly I probably would too. Fuck my ass. <laughs> I probably would have to yeah. juice myself up a bit for it too. You can't be nonchalant. Want to fuck my ass? What? <laughs> I would be I would be scared of a girl. I've had it offered that way. I've really? never had anal sex, but like this one woman was just like do you like anal sex and i was like oh i've never done it and 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 uh and she goes uh and i was like oh do you and she goes yeah right well there's a little oomph in that but it's a little yeah, but it's like it's a little like mm. it was a little um yeah she likes it more than then, then i'm like yeah mm. still trying to meet a you know still trying to meet a wife <laughs> like yeah. not yet. <laughs> yeah yeah and then because if she's, if you, you know, if your girl that loves you, fucking, you want to, yeah. it's like, all right, you're building yourself up. But if a girl's like, you know, like Napoleon Dynamite, would you like to put it in my ass? What? Yeah. If they respond with the same energy of like, I don't know, I don't care where we have dinner. Like, yeah. it's the same kind of, yeah. Do you want mayonnaise? I don't care. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm going to put something in your bum. It's fine. Yeah. It's, like, like, it's, it's a little, it's a little put off. Yeah. You want a little, a little dirtiness to it, right? Yeah. Where you like, going? I wanted, go back. I didn't yeah. tell you to go anywhere. You no, know, like every. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking look, autistic. Look at these guys. Because they I think, get autistic. I think, go back. I think they might be, keep an eye on your credit card. I think they might be buying a pass. This <laughs> oh, I'm, we're going to go. If I'm, I think we're going, right, Danny? Do you think they would uh, hire us to perform there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I have to. The way you bring me on stage, you have to stick your fist in my ass. <laughs> That's the way. Your it's next like a ventriloquist kind of like. <laughs> oh, that'd be a great act. Yeah. That'd be the best act for ass fest. It's like something George and Otto never got to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be so funny if 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 you got little Max and put it on Danny's lap and he just stuck his fist and they did like an improv. He paints his face and he like he's like this is a. This is a X-rated peanut, and it's just Jeff Dunham. <laughs> it's an X-rated <laughs> peanut. X X-rated. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, all right, what else do we got, Danny? Um, it says uh, you only need a select few toys. M more likely than not, you'll be playing outside of your room most of the time. And <laughs> In the hallway? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Where? Where are they? Do they have a special and, room? <laughs> no, I think like in the pool area. 
and not uh, and you're not going to be carrying your toys with you. I packed way too of many. Of course toys. you did in your asshole, you <laughs> fucking sissy. <laughs> what the? F- I packed way too much. <laughs> yeah, I got. Sorry, you didn't get. You didn't like that when you all comic. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's a great. I grow. Old, you old comic. <laughs> he really did get all fucking offended. I'm sorry. I, you, you need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Sun- <laughs> sun- 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 sunscreen. Sunscreen. You need <laughs> sunscreen, sunglasses, and aloe. Why aloe to heal your asshole? <laughs> <laughs> this pale Midwestern pup. Didn't he say he was from Connecticut? Uh, I yep. think he's saying he's saying mm-hmm. it about somebody else. Oh, and why do you remember where he lives? I don't know. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> you guys are going. <laughs> You're coming. No, I, I'm busy this weekend. No, it's not this weekend. <laughs> no, no, weekend. I got a good gig. I'm doing Acme. I got a. Yeah. Okay, oh, we're Acme's gonna... a good gig. Yeah. I can't... Are you there this weekend? Uh, two weeks. Yeah. Wow, great yeah. job. Yeah. I, uh, well, I want to get into that. I, yeah. There's a couple things I want to talk to you about. Let's. Yeah. But we're gonna get through. This. I like that. I like that you the way you break the ice though. <laughs> there's gonna be no barriers later. No, when I have no barriers, you're gonna be like, oh, there's yeah, no was, barriers left. Yeah, I was dead. Well, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was fun. It was, was fun. Dead. My uncle, go ahead. What? Go ahead. My, what else? My own, my own private fist fest. <laughs> um, a few cute outfits. Well, of course you gotta bring. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need an outfit if somebody's sticking a fist in your ass? Um, well, you, you know. know, like every present needs to be unwrapped. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah. If it, is it really that fun? If I'm just like, uh, Bobby, I got you this watch, <laughs> and I just hand it to you barehanded. We have some good like news it's for not you. Not even Bobby. in a box. Yeah, yeah, right. What's that? We have some good news for you. Oh, for uh, our brothers in recovery attending Fist Fest. Oh yeah. And keeping with our goal to provide oh. a safer sex drug <laughs> drug free environment. Thank you. With, with the inc- uh, and trying to socialize, we are adding a 12 step meeting oh, to the weekend. Perfect. That's awesome. Now <laughs> me and Friday Voss. And Saturday morning. I'm gonna take Voss. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't bring his in. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, great. Are That's you sober awesome. too? Yeah. Are you sober? No. Oh, okay. he's like uh, fuck. No, I'm, I'm I'm sober right. I haven't drank in 16 days. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Is that a thing? It's a. I am doing it. I'm gonna drink again. Like I know I'm like I'm just I'm drying out. Like I'm hope. Uh, I was like, I was just in the bottle for a bit too much. Like in January, so I was like, I need a, I need a moment. So have you ever tried to get sober before? No, no. So this is a thing. What, what, well, I've I've taken I take patches. Like I I'll, I'll do like, you know, like six weeks at a time or whatever, a couple right. weeks, whatever. Yeah, right. but like, you know, with a with the job we have, oftentimes I'll have a casual drink and not. Yep. Get loaded, but I had to like do the whole. I'm not drinking at all for a bit because I was drinking like I was just getting into my cups a lot. Oh really? Yeah. What happened? Anything happened? I mean, no, no. Any any fallout? Any just you made the choice? I uh, know. Yeah, yeah. I was just like overdid right. it a bunch, you know. Like and I was having a lot of fun weekend. But nobody was like, "Dude, you got to stop." No, no, no. You, you no, just... no, I don't. I'm not close enough to anyone to for them to. Ah, uh, really, dude? No one would. No one. I. I don't think anyone. I know would be like you drink too much. Where are you? Where are you out of right now? L. A. No, I live here. You live in New York. Yeah, but I'm on the road a lot. You're on. I the road. Yeah, you, I do the road every. I week. never really see you. I'm, I do the road on the weekends a ton. Like it's yeah, it's finally going in the right direction, which is nice. But I'm right. starting to loathe being gone. And you have no family here? No. Where's your family? I got two brothers in Texas. In what part of Texas? Fort Worth. Is that where you're from? Yeah. From there? Yeah. And you're uh, Mexican, half Mexican, right? Half Mexican, half Irish. Half Irish. Yeah. Good combination. Yeah, very. It's great. Are you from are you, uh, cowboy guys or rednecky or what are you over there? Uh, well, my mom was from Southern Ireland, so like an actual, I'm at, like wow. Irish immigrant. And then my dad was second generation Mexican American, maybe third. So it, like we're pretty Mexican, pretty, like we're not... I am a little, uh, I wouldn't say I'm rednecky. I wouldn't say we're rednecky, but we're definitely, We. I have a te- little bit of a Texas drawl here and there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and my brother's maybe a bit less, but. And your mother has a brogue accent? Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she gone? Yeah, yeah, she oh, did. Oh, sorry. Is yeah. your father still alive? No, no, no. Oh, they're gone? Yeah. Oh, so when you say you got nobody, it's just your brothers. Yeah. And then I have my brother's uh, kids. They're not. You You're know, their uncle. Yeah, my nephew. But there's like one I talk to the most and then the other ones are like grown. You know, oh, so you don't talk to them that much. Well, I mean, like they're like, like we'll text, but you know, like I kind of when they were becoming kids, I was already out of Texas. Like I yeah. didn't grow up; they didn't grow up around me. So the relationship is like, oh, that's my uncle, and we like each other. But that's kind of you know, I wouldn't say we're super close or anything. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh uh, yeah, man, that's fun. I mean, I got a huge Irish Catholic family. I yeah, mean, I got. Well, you're from Boston, right? Yeah, my grandfather and grandmother had eight kids. And you know all the, my aunts and uncles I have two aunts, five uncles, and everybody has Are they around eight still? kids. My grandmother and grandfather passed away. Yeah, but they passed away at like a hundred. They made uh, it to YS. Hundred and one. Yeah, 
No, my you? grandmother was 95. My, gra- my grandfather was 101. Jesus Christ. So, really? yeah, I got good genes in the fam. Yeah. It's um, rare for Irish blood. It is, you know, but they got, you know, it was, it was weird. I mean, he was so, I mean, my grandfather was still the, the kicking around when he was a hundred, dude, still yeah. making people laugh, still that, you know, that greatest generation man, yeah. you know, walk in, you're still doing comedy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, kind of as a living. What? Cause he went to my first comedy show. And he saw me just eat my dick. You know what I mean? It's sweet that he was there, though. Yeah, he did come, but he hated it. Yeah, of course he did. I hated it. When I told my mom I was quitting college to become a comedian, Oof. she said I was afraid you would say that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But she's also right. You know, like, yeah. it doesn't work out for most people. So Yeah. Yeah. It but. doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Now it seems like it's working out for so many people. It's, it's working out for everybody who tries it. Because yeah. Because there's a way. Yeah. Like we were talking about at the beginning of the show before we went to Ass Fest. Well, yeah, let's get. Can we get some levity we'll go, in here? Let's just do a little levity. What about the Ass Fest? What are you bringing up? Well, I thought it'd be interesting if you guys guess what it costs to go to Fist Fest. Oh, uh, this is a great. I love this game. I'll uh, guess right now. I guess it, <laughs> one sixty. Well, there's also there's day passes and then there's weekend. If you want to go for the whole weekend, you get a discount. So guess the weekend we, and the day pass. One. I'm going to say one sixty. One twenty five for the day, and I'm going to say three. Three seventy five for the weekend. And what amount would make you go fuck that? I'm not going. I mean, no amount. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, I don't care if it was thirty uh, million dollars. I don't know how I much. Would is, sell how much my, does my dignity cost? <laughs> I would sell my wife's pussy on the street to make enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be like five fifty. I'm going to. I'm guessing it's going to be exceedingly expensive <laughs> for, for asbestos. Yeah, because sometimes this sex shit is like. Weird, you know, like, like it's like it doesn't seem like it should cost any money, but then they're like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, oh, Bobby, I think you where, perused the website, you were really close. First of all, we're all going, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody that listened to this podcast is going. <laughs> Fist Fest brass prices do not include event bright fees. <laughs> it is a uh, really cheap. Buddy. Baby, for for a Listen for a memory me. you are never gonna forget, and a smell you're yeah. never gonna forget. When, when your child's face is rattling around in your brain on your deathbed, and it looks sort of familiar, when the cowboy this mess ha- will still be clear as can be. When the cowboy hat falls off your head and you scream in pain, oh, oh, one nineteen weekend pass bought out on site, bought on site weekend pass bought on site. <laughs> Regular when someone book. says they bought the uh, the early bird pass for Fist Fest, <laughs> do you think they're they're like a little like that's like a clue of like, all right, this guy's a little too eager to even for us. I like the even guy for that, our even for our community. I like the guy that w- was like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna go. I'll just pay the extra ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. Fuck it, let's go. Come on, Frank. <laughs> Let's uh, do it. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just to pay for the price of the hotel room. Buddy, I want to go to ask for They have volunteers. <laughs> oh, who's volunteering? Dude, if I will. If you can't afford it. What? If you can't afford it. If you can't afford it, you can volunteer to be an ass. That's nice. It is nice. It is nice. Like, what, what not, if, it's pretty <laughs> inclusive. Shifts are designed to take no more than 30 minutes because it hurts. <laughs> but no, we, we, we bought a new host. So but you can shut up for more than one shift. Of course you can. It's as do not require you to mix drink. Pools are restocking supplies and cleaning the pool of shit. <laughs> oh, uh, refilling uh, beverage. Co- wow. All right. Well, we should all go and volunteer for nothing. <laughs> we should just volunteer just to, just to walk by. I... Whatever room that's getting at. What does the banner look like to you? Oh, it's got to be. What? Yeah. What is the logo? They get a T-shirt. What is the? Lo- oh, it's just a guy with wings and a no. Huge it's not fist. a. It's a pig with wings. Is it a pig? Yeah. Yeah. He's a dirty bottom pig. Yeah. He's a sloppy bottom pig he's with got a, some fucking pipes on him though. Look at his. Of course arm. he does. Who wants a little tiny arm in his asshole? <laughs> I mean, if I have to pick one. Wow, that I, my asshole just clinched up and went <laughs> no. I heard my asshole go no. You know, I gotta say this. <laughs> This is better than the green thing from JFL. <laughs> like, <laughs> at least I know what that is. <laughs> that, that's fucking great. <laughs> that's like I don't I don't know a lot, but I know what that. That's a horny f- angel pig. <laughs> and that green thing and 
That is the green oh. French thing. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> wait, wait. Go down for a little bit. Go down. Ass pig. I love ass pig. They have, they have more sponsors than we do. <laughs> of course they do. That's at dude. Yeah, they're selling sex. Yeah, dude. It's fist fest, bro. Yeah. Of course they do. They're selling fist. Super. Stud fist. What's a stud fist? Who are they? What do they? What do they make? <laughs> Let's guess. I say candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> I say European candy bars. It's got nougat. It's uh, <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Uh, there's a lot of nougat in the baby pool. What is this? Jeez. Oh no! What is it? Go back. We can't. You no, even after ten minutes, we can't look at that. <laughs> that's oh. that's a site where they. I think they. You. I thought you were gonna have some balls and just go in there. No, I'm not gonna have balls. I have an ass. You don't need balls. That's ball fest. We're not going there. What's this one? It's gonna be the same thing. You know. <laughs> There's no way this is not gonna be. No, this dudes. is a, a super sniffer. It makes it so you can like take poppers more easily. A what? What's a popper? It loosens up your asshole body. Wait yeah. a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, uh, my friend Melissa Stokowski had a joke about it. She goes, if you don't know what poppers are, just imagine if a drag queen ran VCR cleaner underneath your nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah, she was great, man. Don't let a spill ruin your... Eh. What's oh. the spill? Is that poop? Is that poop? No, I think it's the poppers. All right, no, so you put, the super sniffer prevents spills and... No, it's a catcher. What is it for? Go, never burn. So it's so you don't smell their assholes? What is this? No, it's a device that you hook up to your bottle of popper so you don't lose any of it. What's a popper? It looks like a liquid that... It's nitrous. For what? Getting high and it loosens your asshole. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. There's a drug that gets you high and makes your asshole How long have you presentable? Been huh? How long have you been sober? Uh, 37 years. Okay, that's a good amount. Of time. Yeah. Is that, should, I, should I know about this? Yeah, I mean, I was like, that's why I was kind of like, I think this has been pretty public for a bit. So, yeah, I got sober when I was 15. Okay. Back, back in the 80s <laughs> when we just did regular drugs <laughs> and we didn't stick. You never told anybody about your fisting fetish. <laughs> what? What? Oh my God. Look at those two. Why do they? Oh, I hate getting my nipples pinched, dude. <laughs> God damn it. I'm out. He's got the back of the neck, too. That looks yeah. like, it looks like me. With, <laughs> Does it look, is this it, is like a. I've been, you ever watched the Dark Side of the Ring? No. It, oh yeah, 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 there, yeah, yeah. This is like a. Looks like like when they find out one of the guys is gay. Like yeah, it's, yeah it was, this is pretty much what I had the image as in my head. Yeah, just the Undertaker yeah. fucking around, <laughs> just <laughs> laying, into, laying into Paul Bearer. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, just jacked guys. Here's the thing, this has got to be. I mean, there's got to. I mean, I wonder what type of guy. Does like is it a shredded? Are these in shape guys? Are these it's older be all guys? Over. It's all over, all over the map. I think. I think the thing is, if you're going to fist fest, <laughs> God damn, you, you should gotta, be the, you should be the voice of fist fest. <laughs> hey, if you're going to fist fest, yeah, remember inclusion. Like, yeah. I don't think they're gonna be like, dude. I just said they'd be like, no, he's a skinny Indian nerd. We're not gonna. <laughs> We're not gonna <laughs> work him like a fucking puppet. <laughs> like, yeah. Could you, of could you imagine Mateo um, showing up at Fist Fest? How everybody would just come at the door. Hey. I bet they all look like him, though. But you know, like they're all just like fitness is like such a part of that culture. I think it's like fucking crazy. Oh, they have prize giveaways, so pay attention. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> what do they give away? Diapers. <laughs> Our also, yeah. <laughs> is there like an event or like a a speak like? <laughs> What's a pig pen? What the fuck is a pig pen? <laughs> oh, I want that. Is that food? Is that how they get food? Is that I know ah. what the pig pen is. I don't think it's a pig. I don't think it's food. So what do you think? It's just a bunch of pigs in a pen sticking fists in each other's asses? Uh, Doing nitrous? Oh, God. Uh, what is that? What is that? Oh, uh, well, what? Okay. That is, that's a I'm lot. Not going, oh, don't touch my foot just like, now. You touch my foot. Don't touch, you touch my, me. my fucking foot. Yeah, you touch oh, my foot. Oh, I'm straight. You I'm away. so straight. I'm not married. I have a kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah, will I fuck a lot of them. Let's go yeah, fuck. They, they're dead. <laughs> what if we just started making up just fucking... <laughs> Just, uh, just fuck me in my ass, you, <laughs> you fat pig. You fuck me. That is a right, here, lot. I'm not going if it's just gay sex. <laughs> I'm not going if this is this is either hot men, hot hands, hot holes, and a lot of them. I do like this. <laughs> Public place spaces are supplied with all slings and other equipment, and all the supplies you'll need to have a fun 
fun. Double Listen. F fun time. Beer, bottled water, and sports drinks will be supplied continuous. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta elect- hydrate. You need electrolytes. Yeah, they're gonna be like you. They're gonna be like they're just gonna be eating protein bars and, I, I, and you know, energy. Do you know how much electrolytes you lose by having somebody's fist in your ass? <laughs> <sighs> oh man. Well, there's fist fest. <laughs> I mean, we're going. <coughs> Danny, find out if I'm working that weekend. If not, whatever town this in, we'll do, we'll do a comedy show, and we think, all go to Fist Fest. Do you think Fist Fest and Skank Fest have any overlap? I think it's the same thing. I, <laughs> I bet it's the same smell. I, <laughs> I bet it's the same. Clip it. Yeah, just a, Clip <laughs> it. Just a, Shane. Just Shane. A, a bunch of guys it. who haven't washed their hoodies in two years. <laughs> Oh, it smells like hot dog water and pennies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Wow, yeah. about us? Anything? <laughs> Look, we. Can, I mean, I could sit on this site. I want to know what the pig pen is, though. Yeah, can we? I have an. I have an idea. I do too. Yeah, I do too. A bunch of fucking guys with beards just fucking. <laughs> what do we got? What's the pig pen? Can't you Google it? Oh, I'll Google it. Or are they? Are they? Are they sponsored? Is the pig pen? That'd be funny if. It was like 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 the way the DraftKings the Super Bowl was brought to, halftime show was brought to you by DraftKings. <laughs> yeah, but pig pen is actual uh, like a gay fist fucking thing. What that if you pig can pen buy? is just pig pen from is this, Charlie Brown? And you know what? <laughs> That's their mascot. Yeah. Pig pen? yeah. Oh, why not? <laughs> All right, here we go. What is it? Um, it says. Uh, yeah, no filming of photography, of course. <laughs> uh, we get it. Uh, cell phones and cameras are not allowed in the pig pen at any time. You're going to get shit all should over we, them. Should we call them and ask what the pig pen is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Oh, of why Why would you ask that? Of course, call them. We want to we want to know about... No. You know, I got to give them credit. They are, like, really taking ownership of the word pig. Like, because it's never a compliment. You know, like, you little fucking ass pig. And Listen, they're like, man, yeah, it is. Gay guys took the rainbow, and they took the mustache, and now they have pig. <laughs> It's good. Cops are cops are coming back up. <laughs> How's this? How come the, how come this is just a guy thing? How come there's no girls? Um, Why is it, it seems like it's just a guy thing? Why wouldn't there be the gr- gatekeeper? <laughs> what? What's his name? <laughs> the uh, gatekeeper. <laughs> He's funny. He's I, really first funny. Of all, I want you to follow the gatekeeper on my account, please. <laughs> I want to know everything this guy's up to. Friday night, I was in the pig pen at Fist Fest. Oh, I got to follow them too. Yeah. Getting double team punched. <laughs> and while there isn't video, thank Jesus, I will do my best to explain. My butt will never be the same. <laughs> I got to respect the rhyme. He literally, uh, oh. I will do my best to explain, but my butt will never be the same. It sounds like the end of a sad song. Danny, can you sing that for me, please? Friday night, start it up. Can you give me a? Can you give me a beat? Boom, doom, doom, boom. Friday night, I was <laughs> in the <laughs> big man at his. I can't, I can't sing. You All right, Friday. Oh, you got to change. You gonna do it? Friday night, I was in the pig pen, getting double team punched while there isn't video. I'll do my best to explain. My butt will never be the same. Ouch. Boom. It's kind of a lot to get out. Yeah. Oh, we do rap. You can do rap. Friday night, I was in the pig pen. Fist fest, getting double team, punched in wild. This video, there ain't video. I'll do my best to explain. My butt will never be the same. Bars. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Where is I he? Mean, he, does, where, he doesn't explain what it. Yeah, is. he does. Where does he explain? There is no explanation. I think it's. I think it's like the surprise guest at Skang Fest, where you kind of have to get there to find out. <laughs> oh. Same smell. Same smell. <laughs> I think it's just. I bet it's just one room where everyone's just. I just in and out of each other like the fuck. Oh, just tunnel. smells like a pet store. Oh, <laughs> even, we, I bet there's a newspaper all over the floor. Bobby, let's call the resort and say we're going. Let's call it and ask questions to the resort. Well, uh, yeah, I, there's no way the resort's going to answer any of these questions. There. There's, <laughs> there's no way some old southern woman's going to go, I don't know. <laughs> it's 11 at night. It's, it's at worth the, trying. Please, can you find, would you mind if you don't mind... Mm-hmm. Opening up footage. I want to see what the actual resort looks like, too. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's right there. It's, it's not that nice. Look how small that fucking pool is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you? Oh, calling? my God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just see, Shane. All right, everybody quiet. 
What's the date? What's the date? Um, what's the date? April yeah. 25th. Hi. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, um, attending. Um, I'm thinking of attending uh, Fist Fest on April 25th to the 27th, and I have a couple questions. Okay. Now, if now um, is this all men? Yes. Is, it's just so there's no women at all, right? No. Okay. Perfect. Um, and. Do I have to, what, what if I'm going to come? It can, I'm probably going to pre-order, but do I have to bring any special? Is there anything I should bring? Well, like my son. Well, you have to register with him first before you can even book a room. You can. You have to. Oh, you have to register on the site and then book a room. Yes, sir. They give you a code. Okay. Now, is it like I'm worried about like the like? Are we, can we be outside or is everything inside? Is, like, what is it well, safe? They have stuff different. Hold on a second. Yeah. They um have they have different things set every all over the resort. Some things are inside, some things are outside by the pool. Now, how clean? Like, is it is it everybody hygienic? How is hy hygiene? I'm very very clean. Well, I'm pretty sure about hygiene. I mean, this is like the tenth year, so oh jeez, you know, wow, yeah, oh tenth year, okay. And every, if you go to that website, everything that you need to know for that will be online. We just the hotel that's hosting the event. That we don't know exactly what but they, the, have, they no, have. Something. It's just us um, that weekend. Like I'm not going to run into a family of six at breakfast, right? No, this is the All Game Mill Resort. Oh, thank God. Okay, great. Makes sense now. Got it. Yeah. Oh, because I just didn't want to. I. I what, what, what about the deposit? Well, the deposit is two fifty, but like I said, you have to book with fifth set before you can even get a room. But all your questions for us, like the proper safety and uh, yeah. hygienic, yeah. whatever, whatever, yeah, hygiene, yeah. Yeah, all that be in they, in they guidelines on their web page. But you yeah. have to book with, I mean, you have to register with them first. I'm very new to this, and I don't know what a pig pen is, and I'm just, I don't know, what is that? Well, a pig pen is a play area for BDSM, and you can come with your leatherware or your boxes, but you can't be clothed. You, you can't have clothes? No, sir. So when you go in the pig pen, you're, you can be naked? Yes. Well, I don't know about fully naked, but I think I think so. But I never. Yeah. Is this pig? I know, you, I know there's the left clothing optional. Yeah. So in the pig pen, I'm a I'm like everybody in there is, you know, free game or is there people watching or? It's either both people watching and people people um participating. Okay, and is there a medical like if something happens is is there safety? Um, yes, sir. all that. Yeah, that's why I said all that. All those questions would be on the fifth fifth guidelines because, like I said, we just hosting the event, but they have a web page and they have questions that many people may ask that I can't answer. Okay, great. I'm pretty sure are you at? Are you, you going to be there? Yes, I work here. Are you going to be at Fist Fest? I won't be at Fist Fest. I'll be at worse. Oh, you're not going to be at Fist Fest though. You'll be working. No, I'll you... be here. And I'll let people check people in and stuff like that. Oh, so you be... can't. Oh, you guys can't go to Fist Fest. You have to just work Fist Fest. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't participate in those things like that in that particular thing. So. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. I have, I have watched around and watched for a little bit before like participate now. How was? I mean, was it? Crazy, like this. Like I said, this is my first time. Was it nuts? Were you like, well, what am it I? Was the first time I've seen it. But after you see it so many times, you get used to it. You get used to it, and it's like, I mean, there's. Is it like, like hard fist? Like, is it gentle fisting? Is it? It's yeah. It's however that you want it. It's like seeing you and that person that you with. Like I said, they have demonstrations and videos on their website. They have they answer questions I can't answer. Oh, okay. But yeah, they have a website. And they can show you demonstration video. They also have classes that teach you how to do it and stuff. And how to probably oh. do it so you weren't injured someone. So, oh. like I said, all those questions, you need to go. It will be on this list on their own. All right, do I bring my own snacks, though? Like, are there snacks there? Or should I bring we snacks? We have a cafe here, and they don't, they will be having, like, brunches and dinners for the people. That's why I say you have to book with them. Because you wish you paid with them. You get that's snacks. That's for your food for that weekend. Yes, so I get snacks. Does that include snacks? So, all right, so but you do. You. I don't know about snacks, but they feed you. But do you guys have snacks? Like, if I want a snack, we have, we have a yes. Yeah, so we have a vending machine, and then okay. we also have a cafe on property. Okay, okay, good. Because you know, after I did it the first time, I was. Yes, I understand. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your help. Hopefully, I'll see you. You're What's welcome. your name? Brazier. 
Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, my nice name. To meet you. Yeah, my name is Mike Cannon. Very oh, nice to meet you. You too. Sir. Uh, bye. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, I'm going. You really? I'm going as Mike Cannon. <laughs> I can't believe how fucking long you kept that going. <sighs> I, you also there was like I, I think I'm I, gay. If you're li- if, if you're listening to this and not watching, Bobby even did like. You oh, yeah. Basically, you were acting. I, I because he, I needed to because if I, I felt like if I didn't have a little sass to me, he was going to be because I'm a Boston. Little. I'm either, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you're like you're, man. They're they're going to be onto you pretty quick. You think <laughs> if you're not? Yeah, hey dude, if I talk yeah, like yeah. Marky Mark, <laughs> dude, how, what, fuck is the pig pen? <laughs> hey dude, what the yeah. fuck is the pig pen? You fucking queer. <laughs> God, <laughs> it's an all gay resort. That God means, uh, bless this resort. Yeah. And God bless Augusta, <laughs> where the fucking masters are. They're having <laughs> Fizz Fest, the most oh. classic, holy shit event in the world. And right down the road is Fizz Fest. This is the greatest thing ever. And they have videos. Number one, first of all, listen, go back. It's, it's nothing. Guys, we got to go. We got to go. They got 4.5 stars on Google. Of course they do. They're fucking great. It's Fizz Fest. If I want a shirt, I want a shirt so bad. I'm getting a hoodie. I want to. I'm getting a hoodie. I uh, yeah. The, let's see the hoodie. Let's Where's see the, the merch? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see the merch. I guarantee they got great hoodies. Shop. <laughs> uh. Oh, yep. That, I'm getting it right oh. there. Oh, that's my hoodie right there. Well, I don't see the hoodie. Uh, I'm. There's got to be. Oh, that's a t-shirt. Okay, sorry. Go. Where's the hoodies? Um, one second. Let me find. I'm. It. I'm. <laughs> don't you love when Danny's? Ah, he panics. I'm. Um, fist fast hoodie. <laughs> oh, this comes up so easily. Here it is. <laughs> Double pullover. It's a pullover hoodie. It's exactly what I. Oh yeah. What well, is that? The only one? I think there was another. No, dude. I want a that fist. That makes fest. it look like you work at games. Yeah, dude. I want fist fest. I want a logo. I want the. I want like the the Foo Fighters logo. I want some inlay. I want like a little stitching on the wrist, maybe. I want. I want. Yeah. I want an embroidered, awesome fist fest hoodie. What if it's um, the hoodie has like a plastic lining on the inside, so when you're fisting, like you know. <laughs> what if the hoodie went down and hooked on like a, <laughs> like a little onesie? Oh my God. Oh God. What do you got? Do you got it or not? No, that's flowers, you double punched asshole. <laughs> Stop looking at look up Fist Fest hoodie. I am how did I, you I, end up searching this? Because he's he's a fist fest fester. All right. There we go. Go back up. Go back up. Loser. Is that Fist Fest stuff? No. No, go to the site. It was at the site. I remember I saw something up top there at the site. All right, go over. Now look, see where it says? Look it. Explore. Explore designs. Yeah. Hey, over. To, oh God. Over. Shop products. Top. Middle top. Middle top. You oh, yeah, yeah, okay. fucking asshole. It's panicking. Oh, there we go. Okay, that that one. I want cancel that. No, Even no. Though, put but, Bobby's phone number. In. But we, no, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, look at how badass that FF is. Where's that? F- oh, not that one. I love the fist one. That's a Foo this Fighters one? look. Go over there. I want the Foo Fighters, but nah, it's fist fest. Come on, look at those lightning bolts of shame. <laughs> What else do you got? You got a hood. They have to have that in a hoodie. Please tell me that's a hoodie. Go down. It's oh, a we tie. got hi. Dude, they got a there, you there go. it is. There it is over to the right, Danny. They got a nice sensible sweater, too. I want the pink one. You want this one? I want that one in black. Do they have it in black? They gotta. Oh, what do they got? What's on the back? Just a fist. What if it was just a prolapsed asshole just in the, the back? Just the word ah. <laughs> All right, double XL. You got to get double XL because those are for gay guys. So the XL is really a large. The large is a medium. The mediums are small. And the small is for people with fucking who are, are little tiny boys. All right, there you go. Black. Love it. Go to the front. Let me see what the front looks like. This is not bad. Where's the logo? Yeah, yeah. the problem is it's a black logo. Black logo so you gotta go on do. a black shirt doesn't work. Okay, well, go. Why? Maybe you get the logo in red. Yeah, red. Do they have the logo in red? Yeah, go back. Well, see right there. See if it's an option there. 
Yeah, we can't do it there. All right, nice talking to you. Yeah. All right, anyways, yeah. let's go back to this while he's looking up our <laughs> okay, Fist so. Fest hoodies. Our Fist fa- I love the logo. Our hoodies. What are you? Oh, you're not in? Yeah, I don't. You, you're not going. What, what weekend is it? And I, no, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, you got your special out, uh, blue-eyed Mexican. Yes, sir. Which is you got blue eyes. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Um, this year they have just to be clear. This year they have three fist fests. So if you can't make the first one, the first one is April 25th through 27th. Well, the one in October is my birthday week. <laughs> it's my birthday week too, October 8th. Oh, really? Huh? On the fourth. Let's go to Fist Fest, <laughs> dude. That's we should have done this. We oh, high five. <laughs> we had the worst high five, dude. No, we do this. <laughs> We do this, and then we go, yeah, no, no, hold, hold this way, hold it that way, and then I go in, and then you let me in. And then a bunch of confetti comes out. <laughs> dude, oh we, we, dude, that would be a great birthday. Let's go back, scroll down, what is that guy doing? <laughs> oh, boy, I know. It's so weird, because it, it looks a, like one of those paintings in Europe I wouldn't understand that we're, like, <laughs> talking about the Edith. Like a Greek, Greek gods. Oh. Just oh, man, they got all their contacts up there. Of course they do. Dude, Fist Fest looks fun. <laughs> I mean, it looks I, fun. Look at that pool. That pool. I think it's pretty. At the end of the weekend, it's just brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah. That they uh, <laughs> have all found each other. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that of a safe place. to. I think it's. They seem to be doing a lot of like. I just want to go and watch. I want. Is there? Is there? I think the gays are ahead of safety in a lot of ways. Like, if there was a, if there was. Do you a, remember the eighties <laughs> when no most of them died? Coming. No one saw that coming. <laughs> don't know. No, no. You remember okay. Philadelphia? Tom Hanks. I don't know. About, <laughs> I don't know about safety. Uh, or now, now they, they, they seem to be. You know. Yeah. 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 We'll go. We'll do me. And you, you think they're? You think they're teaching anybody anything at, at uh, Skankfest? Now that they got prepped, they're like fucking stick it all in my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, it, how freeing must that be? What's wrong with your hands? Oh, I, I was uh, doing my lawn this morning. A weed whacker got my knuckle. Yeah, how did put you guys that, find out about Put that? that right in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Loop that up. Well, how, did uh, you, how do we, we, dude, we have How way. did you come across this? Well, I don't know, God. God <laughs> no, brought no, no, this, no, no, no. God brought this to our table. I want to know the, because this came out of nowhere for me. Yep. Well, we waited 10, 10 minutes. That's true. So it wasn't nowhere. It wasn't nowhere. We had a nice conversation for 10 minutes. Yeah, perfectly. About the clean. industry yeah. that nobody cared about. And then we went into Ass Fest. <laughs> and, and now the views are through every, the roof. Yeah. You know how many people are going to go to I'm tell, I bet you Tom Segura is talking about this with Bert next thing. You hear about Ass Fest? <laughs> <laughs> I bet Bert's going to go take his shirt off and sell fucking liquor. <laughs> I bet they If I was those two with sponsoring, I would Please sponsor. Please remember to bring floor coverings, tarps, and play sheets to cover the beds and carpets. I would sponsor this fucking thing in a second. <laughs> we should see. How much do they need to sponsor? How much money do we get to get on that sponsor? <laughs> I want, we could reach out. I want to sponsor Fist Fest. I'll give him fifteen hundred bucks if I get a thing on the why <laughs> <laughs> and I but no I want one. but There's I also want to no. sponsor blue eyed Mexican, the special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Um all right, well listen, we got uh where can they go see your dates? Where is here's his dates right here. Yeah. Uh the plus in Eau Claire this coming uh La Brea this weekend, Friday and Saturday. I don't know when this comes out. Uh Eau Claire the fifth of March. Six through ninth, I will be at Acme Comics. Acme, but, tell him I said hi, would you? Yeah, Lewis. Yeah, he's just such a great guy. Yeah, he's awesome. He just, he's the best. Real yeah. sweet guy. And then poor, a poor comedy dude. Me and Danny went there for. You did it. God yeah. damn, I love it. Yeah, it's the greatest. I've heard Sean Patton said it was a great room. Yeah, it's such a great club. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Punchline, love Punchline. It's my club in Philly, baby. Yeah, laughing tip. I'm I'm there for fucking. I'm on the road all. Good man. All the rest of my goddamn life, I have one weekend Sam, off. Today. Are you at Punchlines? I love Punchlines. I usually go to Cobb's. Oh they, yeah, they put me in Cobb's, but I love the Punchline. Yeah, yeah. Molly. Well, yeah, she's really she's sweet. fucking awesome. Yeah, they, they they San Francisco is a city I still love going to. After I smoke. fucking am terrified to go back. One of my favorite cities. You asked me five years ago, what's your favorite? I would say my favorite place to go in the world was Aruba and San Francisco. Yeah, and now I'm terrified to go back. New because Orleans for me. I heard it was I fucking do. deadly. I mean, just sucked. I mean, it's like, yeah, but like, I don't fucking give a fuck. I, I like, I like, I mean, I just, I that do. stuff like never really mo- bothers me. Like, I mean, there's a lot of homeless people for sure. Like that shit's going on down there, but like, I hate it. I, yeah, I, I don't love, I don't love it. And I feel bad for them, honestly. I but, hate it. I but hate I that just, they have like, like closed stores. I hate that they let people steal with no consequence. You're not doing them a favor. 
You want to give them something? Go give them something. Take money out and go give them something. I'll go help them. Dude, don't fucking just let people shit and don't let people yeah, just don't let people fucking give up. You know what I mean? I it's hate hard, it, man. It's, it's, hard. it's not this, dude. Fuck. It's the one of the richest places in the world. Yes, and it's like my friend lives there and he makes two hundred and twenty thousand. Come on, a year. He has a, and, you know, and he has a, like he like. He makes a crazy amount of. It's not crazy, but he does. Fucking really Pelosi's well. got 140 million in the bank. How'd yeah. that happen? Yeah. Stop it! It's 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 such horse shit. I it's horse shit. It. It's it crazy was, that you need to make ninety thousand dollars a year to live above the poverty line. Buddy, I took my I took my wife there, and we had such a beautiful time. Fucking it's eight, a really eight years ago. It's a really romantic. I wouldn't city. take anybody there now. <laughs> if I if I went back there, I'd just go by myself, and I'd stay over by that area where the club is. I. Dude, I, I remember I I used to walk around San Francisco. I got the iPhone 2. I was up at 5 in the morning waiting in line to be the first. Cause I just wanted to experience waiting in line for an iPhone. Yeah, okay. and I remember I went to Twitter when Twitter was – nobody knew what Twitter was. I remember the guy was a fan, and I was always into, I was into Twitter. Nobody knew what it was, the little fucking bird. And the guy was a fan from Opie and He's like, dude, if you want to stop by. I went by the offices – I, I was sitting down at the table. Two guys walked over and said something to the dude I was with, and I was like, "He's." I was like, "Who's that?" He goes, "Oh, those are the founders." I'm like, "I mean, I met the founders. I didn't even know." Jack, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Dude, when they had short hair and they were just fucking nerds they, before he became cool Yoda, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it is weird how like canonized people become. It, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, dude, if I become a millionaire, yeah. I'm gonna grow my hair. I'm gonna just get a baby curl right here and just have it hang down. <laughs> I'm gonna get more bracelets. <laughs> Cannon made fun of me because I had bracelets. It was very funny. <laughs> he put a thing up. <laughs> I'm a bracelet guy. Like fucking uh, who? Who was it? Anyway. Oh, yeah, it was Cannon. Yeah, Mike Cannon. Did you see what I put up for him? No, I didn't see that. You didn't see it? <laughs> I put up. He he smashed me about my bracelets, and then I put I I I retweeted his thing. Did you see it, Danny? I saw his. I didn't see the one you did. Uh, I see. I put um. Oh, wait. What did you do? Okay, yes. You, yeah, you're a fucking asshole. Danny just retweeted because Danny hates me. <laughs> so he trashed me about my breasts. I wrote, this story was from Mike Cannon presented by Chris, Chris D. Comedy. Because <laughs> Chris D. Chris D. <laughs> Presented a special. Uh, oh, God. Huh. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Um, all right, check it out, guys. Uh, hey, man, thanks for coming on. Hey, buddy, I had a blast. Seriously, and thanks was, for making the time. Yeah, man, Here's, I appreciate uh, that. I, uh, I can't wait to see you again. I'm glad we fucking hooked up on yeah, the bonfire and now, and I'll I see you in the city, and yeah. uh, I can't wait to see you at Fist Fest. Fist Fest. Birthday weekend. And birthday weekend. Get in there. Birthday Blow week. it up. Uh, yay. yay. Fist Fest. Oh, Dude, we got to go. I'm not going. We got to try. I'm, I'm not spending my birthday. Let's just book something. Uh, having that done to me for the. Let's book something there <laughs> at Fist Fest. Dude, let's do a comedy show go at Fist Fest. We'll get our candles Fest. blown out. Dude, we'll do a comedy show at Fist $10 a ticket. Oh, no. And we get to watch the pig pen. <laughs> we get free pig, we get free pig pen tickets. The fact they call it the pig pen. That, oh. oh, I can't wait to go. That's awful. I'm, we got to get hoodies. We're gonna get all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Uh, make sure you check out his special right now. It's on his site and it's on Bert's site. It's on the YouTube page. Uh, it's called Blue Eye Mexican. Uh, it's hilarious. He's fucking hilarious. And make sure you check out his podcast. No accounting for taste. Uh, and check out your website. What's your website again? Shaneyscomedian.com. And make sure you check out all my stuff. Of course, I'm going to be in uh, Comics Roadhouse coming up. Danny's going to be there. Uh, I believe Side Splitters, Joe Russell's going to be there with KP. The Paramount Theater, right now, buy tickets, 21st of March. I am going to be there with Big J Ogerson, The Bonfire Show, Poughkeepsie. I'm going to be in Houston. I'm going to be at the Comedy Mothership, Club 337, Laugh Boston, McCurdy's, Red Clay Comedy Festival. That's a blast. I'm going to be there with Bone to Pick podcast with me and Paul Verzi kicking it. First live Bone to Pick out there. Go to comicwearables.com. You want to get some merch from YKWD. We got the new YKWD hat up top. It's actually a plastic cool uh, patch, which is awesome. The regs is up there. We got all kinds of hoodies. We got the fuck you check spot. Uh, make sure you go there. Use code word ladybugs to get 10% off. Well, guys, what do you got? Max Marcus Comedy, all social media. Um, and I'll be uh, 
at Danny Braff on Instagram, and I'll be opening for Paul Verzi at the Dojo Comedy New Jersey on March 23rd. You're going to be opening with me first, stupid. Yeah, you already plugged that, though. Yeah, but plug it again. I don't I'll care also be opening Paul for, Verzi's dates. I'll also be opening for Bobby in uh, uh, Comics Movie and Sun in Boston. All right, now plug Paul Verzi's. And you can check out The Cheese Show on YouTube by just typing in The Cheese Show. I put, Joe just uh, was at my house for the weekend. And he chilled, and he my dog just shit on the bed the first night there. <laughs> diarrhea shit. Oh. He called me on vacation. He's like, the dog just diarrhea <laughs> Well, clean it up, you fucking loser. I'm not your mother. <laughs> what am I going to do? The dog clean shit. Clean it up, you loser. <laughs> what do you think? Is this Fist Fest? Fucking good. <laughs> Don't you crawl for it, you pig. <laughs> you guys are the best fans in the world. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you like the show. Do me a favor. Subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, just subscribe. And if you really want to support the show, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. You get the show first. You get it live. And you get to get an extra show, the YKWD Extra Extra with me and Mush uh, once a week. You can go support the show there for like, I think it's like five bucks or something like that. If not, just subscribe, like, and comment into the YouTube page and support these guys right here, these young bucks. They're fucking hilarious. And come see me live. We'll see you next time. You know what, dude? Listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.